Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick tour of the Grayfield Inn. When I was researching before I went to stay there, I didn't find a lot of information, so I wanted to do a quick tour. Um, this is us riding bikes to the entrance, through the entrance off of the Grand Avenue, which leads up from Dungeness. And just kind of what it looks like as you come into the property. It's a private entrance, so if you're not staying there, you're not supposed to come back here. Um, if you were to take the ferry from Fernandina, which is the only way to get there, you would, uh, they would drop you off and you would come in on the left up ahead and they would walk you up. Just a beautiful property, lots of old oaks. Uh, there was always horses out in the fields around uh, grazing. They had a water trough kind of attracted the horses. Very beautiful there. As we come up ahead, the little path up here on the left, that's where they would walk you up if you came in on the ferry. And they have a someone that brings your luggage up to the house and brings it up to your room, which is very nice. We couldn't check in our, to our room until 1.30, so we were out riding bikes and exploring a little bit. You'll see here as you come to the front of the inn, very beautiful. head inside in just a sec and do a little bit of, of a tour of the common areas. Here we go up the front steps of course. There's a they have a beautiful porch huge porch. They have these hanging beds I guess you would call them. They're, we stayed there a lot they're very comfortable. come in there's a little foyer there that they're going up the stairs there that's where most of the rooms are at um, the suites there's a little sitting area they would have hors d'oeuvres out here at six o'clock before supper every night and after supper people would come up here and sit and talk and have coffee um, that's a picture of Lucy Ferguson I think is her name she was the founder of the inn uh, descendants of the Carnegie's As we go back out, up here on the left is a little bar area. See right here as you go in, this is the bar. It's very nice. Uh, you can get anything you wanted. If you got an alcoholic beverage, you had to fill out a chit and they would charge it to your account. Of course, they had just, if you wanted Cokes or Sprites, they had those. You could come get them anytime. And during supper, there would be a bartender there that would, or during the hors d'oeuvres to make whatever you would like. This is the library, another nice sitting area. Uh, the books there, I think they came from Dungeness, very old, belong to the Carnegie's. They said, do not take them off the shelves, but you could look at them and kind of see what kind of books they had. And then we'll head downstairs, and downstairs is where they have supper or dinner whatever you want to call it, the meals so every night uh, at seven o'clock, they would ring a bell and that meant it was time for supper. And a couple of sitting areas down here. We would sit, we sat here a couple times, this area here. And uh, you could sit here or in this adjacent room right here. We sat there one night, very nice. Or you could sit outside. They're very accommodating, so you could request if you want to sit outside or if you want to sit by yourself. Uh, if you don't ask to be seated by yourself, they'll sit you with the other uh, guests there, which is kind of nice, get to know people. This is uh, going into the gift shop. Again, it's kind of like the bar. They have chits you fill out and they'll charge anything to your account. They have some, anything that you can purchase, they have some nice things. This is the kitchen area. You're free to come in here and get whatever you need. They have water cups you could take with you, bottles uh, to take with you on hikes. And this is where you would pick up your picnic basket. They would make a picnic basket every day. At, they would have them out at 1030 for the day. They had salads and sandwiches and very good cookies. And then you could head back out through the, there was doors in the bottom. You could out, head outside. 
this is walking around to the barn where they had bikes and you could get the bikes every, every day anytime you wanted uh, but just they wanted you to have them back by the end of the day where they could clean them up they wanted to get all the sand and everything off of them that may have got on them during the day and here's a tour of our room we stayed in the stafford suite which was on the top floor it was the buildings the end is basically four stories if you include the basement and we were up in the top which is kind of in the attic very nice, very spacious. Some of the rooms are more spacious than others, and this is this one has a lot of room. They would come and clean your rooms every night and change the sheets. Um, again, they brought our bags up. You can see them on the left there. Uh, it's a self, cell phone service is a little spotty. You can sit over there by the window in that little chair there and get pretty good service, which is kind of nice to be a little bit, bit disconnected. And uh, there's a little sitting area out outside. Had a nice bathroom with a, an old uh, clawfoot tub, which had been retrofitted to a shower. I just wanted to give a quick tour, and uh, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll post another video about the whole trip. <laughs>